Hey guys, today we're going to do it something a little bit different, uh, a little bit more challenging I guess you could say, depending on your skill level. Uh, today we're going to work on bringing in topography into our uh, project. I'm actually going to start off in uh, AutoCAD to show you what I'm working with. It's just basic uh, file with some uh, contour lines, sorry for the lapse. Uh, just a basic file with some contour lines that we're going to import into uh, Revit and then generate a topography off of that. So go ahead and save that to wherever it's most convenient for you. Uh, just regular file save. I have it in my desktop. Um, so when I go into Revit, I'll be going into insert right here. Click on that. Go to import CAD. From import CAD, go down to your wherever the file is. Again, mine is in the desktop. So it's going to be right here for me. Um, choose if you'd like to keep colors. If you didn't have... Uh, colors on your AutoCAD file, that's perfectly fine. I know mine didn't. I'll just be going regular black and white. Click open. Alright, so there is your AutoCAD file, but in Revit. Uh, plain and simple, has the mesh already, uh, but it doesn't, It. I mean it's see-through basically. We want to change that. It'll look better once you start laying buildings on it, streets, what, what may it be. You know, it'll look a lot better. So what are we going to do? We're going to go over here to Massing in Sight. Click that. Hit Topo Surface. Come over here to the right. Create from Import. Select Import Instance. You're going to select what we just imported. And then for me, because of my layers set up in AutoCAD, I'm going to be turning off Street Names and the Zero uh, Layer. Hit OK. Give it a minute to generate. All right, now it's going to have all these different uh, points on it. Uh, some of these, let me just turn on my shaded colors here. See, there you go. You've got your brown now. Some of these points are going to be somewhat off. Uh, I know this file isn't perfect. And there's a prime example. So what you can do is you can just drag it down yourself and hope you get it right. Or... Uh, enter it manually on the left here and you could tell the file how high you would like that point to be uh, so let's just call it negative 12 feet I don't know if that's actually gonna work but it should go down perfect so it's good enough we can do the same one same for this set. just to practice minus 12 feet hit apply all right so good enough Again, you see them here. You can go through all of them if you'd like to uh, to tweak it as necessary. Uh, once that is done, just hit the green button right here, or the green check mark, sorry, and the dots will disappear. So now you have a mesh with a surface on it. It's no longer just a bunch of lines. Um, and on top of this, you can put on building pads, and that's what you would create your building on. So you go up to the top here, building pad, and then I do a top view just so that it's easier to look at. And let's pretend like I'm going to have a building on this steep area here. Create the building pad, just regular rectangle for my situation. Hit the check mark. There you go. Revit now generates a flat surface for you to be able to create a building on top of. Um, so this is basically... Uh, the basic idea of creating a topo as well as a uh, building pad. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know below or shoot me an email. Thank you.